Yo, what's good? What's going on, man? It's your boy King with the Eight Guy. We are live at Village Fest. We got eight, four, five in the building for real tonight, man. We got the hoodies on deck. We got D Weathers in the building, fellas. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, family? What's going on? What's good, good, good. How we living, man? We living? Village Fest movie? Good, man. Be alive and healthy. Mm -hmm. Say that. Okay, so listen. Let's talk a little bit about y'all journey and how y'all got into this music stuff that y'all got going on. So lit, you know what I mean? I mean, basically, y'all just. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I just follow Bros lead. You know, he he been rapping since I was born. You feel me? So I just grew up watching him rap and shit, and I just felt like I'ma go with him. And ever since, it's just been to the races, man. Mm -hmm. Um, I started off real young rapping. I fell in love with I fell in love with rap at a at a real young age. You know what I mean? And um. Ever since then, I just stayed in the studio, became a workhorse, and just worked on my craft every day, all day, kept writing. And then once I seen Pop was serious, I kept him in the dojo, and we here now, hoodies. I mean, I'm gonna keep it tall. I was in the projects, you seen a Cash Money album cover, and I thought you had the rap to get rich, so, you know what I'm saying? I picked this one up, and I'm trying to get rich, you feel me? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So, how would you guys describe the hip hop culture right now in the state that it's in? I feel like it's it's uh it's real diverse because you got you know you got the um the drill, but we got our own drills, not like the UK drill. Right. You got your, your city drill, but then you still got the Benny the Butchers and the Gazeldas and the hoodies in them that's still gonna give you that ball that, for ball. Yeah, that ball for ball boom bat feel, but right. they've they've turned into a modern thing. Like they get behind. Beats that hit things that you could put in the club, and they still talking that mess on them records. Most definitely, you know what I'm saying. Most definitely. And then of course you still got you know how we do Bobby Schmurter and all, and we get in the clubs as well. We go crazy, you know how we do. It's New York, it's just too much sauce. You know what I'm saying. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I, I like um, I like where music's at. Um, I feel like you know, like what Weather said, you got the the Bennies, the Griseldas, and they get and they just do. And um, before it was a time where it was a lot of saturation, with right. like the the uh the trap rap the down south records and stuff like that it wasn't it wasn't even I feel like you know what I mean but now I feel like we got a balance the West Coast is eating New York is eating again the South is eating and now um you know what you don't really gotta go and search for people they promoting that real shit you know what I mean so it's it's good I like where music's at yeah nah that's a yeah nah that's a fact it's a lot of variety you get what I'm saying like not even just New York just everywhere you get what I'm saying like all all aspects, hip hop is in a good place. You, feel, you get what I'm saying? There's a lot of everything on the radio. It's just everything is together now. You get what I'm saying? There was a lot of there's a lot of bullshit going on, but I feel like it's getting back to a good place. Well, so before we jump to the next question, right? Right now we really got 845 heavily in attendance. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about the 845 music scene as a whole, and how can we come together and grow and actually make make a name for the city? Um. To be completely honest with you, when everybody plays their position and plays their part, shit is always gonna work. When you got right. a solid team and you got a solid movement and it's camaraderie, you can't lose. You get what I'm saying? What they gotta understand is, like Papa said, everybody gotta play their part. But what you gotta understand is, it's gonna take one. One just gotta open the door. So there's no need to hate. Or try to be like, oh, he's hot, I'm not, not F that nigga, da, 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 whatever, whatever. Nah, you just got to understand that somebody got to get in the door. So maybe they may have more appeal, more swag, more something. They may have more commercial. You know what I'm saying? You might be somebody that give that, that real rap. So you might have to wait for somebody to crack the code with a club record. Right. So you could come sliding right in the back door. So it's never about really being competitive to a point where it's like fuck niggas it's just you can you can be competitive just to keep your short your, your sword yeah your sword your sword sharp you just nah it's, it's 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 nothing there for that you just gotta understand that somebody gotta get in as soon as somebody get in we can flood it you gotta think back atlanta chicago west coast any any one place somebody had to get in first for everybody to go behind them that's Most definitely, we need. Yeah, we. Uh, I, I like. Um, there's a lot of dope artists in the 845. Let me state that first and foremost. I support. I support the 845 as a whole. Um, but I feel like there's a a, a lack of communication, a lack of um, 
understanding one another. You get what I'm saying? As far as yo, like I'm, I, I, I run my shit over here. You get oh, what sure. I'm saying? I run my shit over here, and instead of us being like I'm the king of this whole shit, why don't we unify everything so we can all eat? You get what right. I'm saying? Most I definitely. would rather, I would rather that. And um, you know, kind of like what we doing right now. You know what I mean? Like we collaborate and we working and. And Weathers is one of the ones, and I just see it, I respect it, and I'm inspired by it. If you're not getting inspired by your peers, who you gonna get inspired by? The people that's not even checking for you. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Damn like, right, bro. I'm, I'm checking for who checking for me. You damn right, my guys. You know what I'm saying? So that Chinese joint go hard, it's bro. It's crazy. Hold it's you. crazy. I ain't gonna hold it's you. Crazy. <laughs> I ain't it's crazy. Hold and, you. and if you're from the 845 and you wasn't inspired by somebody who came up and came from the mud and built right. his platform from the mud and now he's opening the door for niggas to do the same thing. If you're not inspired by that, you hating. It's, 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 like, it's one or the other. You know what I'm saying? It's a damn fact. You gotta be inspired by that. It's Ain't lie. That's a fact. That's a so, fact. what is your goal and your purpose when you make music? Mm, that's a real good question. Um, my goal is to make people relate, understand, um, and just I want to I want to touch people's soul when I rap. Sure. When I rap, I want people to feel what I'm saying. I um. I was heavily inspired by like Beanie Siegel, people like that. Um, Jada Kiss. I feel like they raised me. My pops was locked up, so I feel like they raised me. You get what I'm saying? Right. So when I hear them, and I'm like, yo, they touch my soul. Nipsey, like they touch my soul when they rap. So my goal is to Those do is real rappers yeah, too. Yeah, what they did. I want, I want you to feel me. Like you know what I'm saying? Pause. I want you to feel what I'm saying. You feel me? Yeah, nah, that's it. Nah, that bro, do you? For me, I'ma say like, you know, at first. When you when you grow up, you wanna you wanna be one of the best rappers ever. Right. But I got to age to a point now where it's like I just been doing it for so long. I know so many people are watching. I can't stop. So the goal is just to keep inspired, keep motivating, to keep. I I I gotta get there so I can let them know like it's possible. You could do it. You know right. what I'm saying? Because it's one thing to see other people from other cities do it and make it and be like, yeah, they could do it. It's a whole different a whole different thing when you see somebody next to you, somebody you went to school with, or somebody you actually seen that lived down the block from you. Some do it. So I'm trying to get to that. That's my goal for rapping. It's like I get up and I do it for that purpose. So every time I'm rapping, I'm making it. I'm writing. So it's like, man, if somebody hear this, I need them to love this shit. Because I, I, need, I need niggas to know, like, we dead ass over here. This is not a joke. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Like, yo, <clears throat> it's really to just, like, inspire people like me. Because, like, yeah, like, I got talent. I got a special talent. But, like, I'm not special. It's a lot of people just like me. Mm. They fathers was incarcerated, mm -hmm. like single mom in the crib, you get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. There's a lot of shit that was like, it's a lot of it in the hood, you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Whether you in poverty or you middle class, whatever class you in, it's a lot of people like me, you get what I'm saying? Like, the first song I ever really listened to was Slipping mm -hmm. by DMX, and I remember how that shit made me feel like that song kind of changed my life, you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And like, growing up, that was an outlet. Like, a lot of niggas would play ball, mm -hmm sell drugs, go to the streets, do whatever they do. Mm -hmm. Rapping was an outlet for me. Like, mm -hmm. it let me just really get my pain off. And, right. like, but I know when I rap, people my age and people that been through what I've been through feel everything I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, right. Right. That's a fact. Right. That's a fact. How could you not feel it? That's dope, man. That's dope. So, we're here tonight at a fundraiser event for mental health. What does mental health mean to y'all? Yo, mental health, I feel like mental health isn't really, um, Acknowledged in black people, you get what I'm saying? Mm. People be too cool. Right, mm -hmm. right. Like, uh, and I, I hate to curse. Like, excuse me from from cursing too much. Good, but if a, if a black man says he got mental health issues, he get called a bitch. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man up. You get what I'm saying? Stop crying. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people out there with serious mental health issues, right. and they don't get acknowledged. You get what I'm saying? I call not it lying, brother. Um, trauma. You right, get what I'm saying? Like right. Trauma that just was not acknowledged. You get what I'm saying? And um, you know, like. Everybody goes through things, you know what I'm saying, mentally. Nobody's perfect. Um, and um, the one thing that I was taught from a young age was speak about it. Get that shit off you. You know what I mean? Don't ever harbor that because you don't want to explode. You know what I'm saying? You don't right. want that shit to fest up and turn into something else. So what I do is I talk to people. I talk to the people that's close to me. I want to. I want you to understand and feel me and I want to get it off of me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm like the same way I tell Pop that too because Pop, he used to not speak at all. When he going through something, he mad, whatever, he hold on to it. And I'm like, yo, you got to let that go. So mental health is pivotal. That's that's first, if anything. Because if your mind ain't right, how your body going to be right? That's a fact. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's definitely one of those things where, you know, growing up, because we've been through so much adversity, you just feel like we can just, we just that tough. 
I'm saying like we don't we don't go through things in the dark like we don't have to sit there at night and have these thoughts or whatever whatever and it's crazy I was just telling a friend of mine the other day because they had a problem with something that happened in the past and I'm like if you had that issue you gotta speak up about that don't hold that because you then when we get to a point where we may dispute about something little you start saying things you can't take back mm -hmm. and I'm big on that, so it's like, nah, if there's any issue that you have with me, if you see anything, any funny thing, you're like, yo, what's good with that? And I'm saying address it right off the rip. Don't hold it because those are the things that haunt you so much. Like, sitting there, you in the background talking about your friend. Like, this is your friend, you might be talking about them, and you don't really mean to be that way, but you just like, you can't, there's no way, I, there's no other way for you to express it. Mm -hmm. So. That's a fact, and not, and not tied into it, you get what I'm saying? Like, like I'm sure 80% of us probably got PTSD. And don't you even get, know it. You get what I'm saying? It don't even know. It could be something small that happened to you, and it changed that outlook on life. Well, you get what I'm saying? Tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? Like, And a lot of this not acknowledged. It gets swept under the rug. Right. A nigga smoke and be like, all right, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Or drink and be like, all right, I'm good. Mm -hmm. But like, that's just mask masking it. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, It's still there. It's, it's just under it now. You get what I'm saying? Right. Word. That's dope, man. That's awesome real game right there. So what are some ways that you guys keep your mental health in good standing? Well, the first thing I the first thing I use is music. <laughs> like, like if I'm ever going through something, I write about it. Even if I don't put it out. Like, I got verses in my phone that nobody's ever going to hear, not even bro. Like, mm -hmm. just stuff that I just wrote because it was just on my heart. You get what I'm saying? Right. And then if that don't work, I go to my brother and I talk to my brother. I talk to my moms. Talk to one of my mans. You get what I'm saying? Just to keep everything fresh, like, but my go to is music for sure. Yeah, for me, um, you know, uh, I do a mixture of things. I talk, I talk about it, I write about it, um, but mostly, um, you know, I find, I find my peace of mind through my daughter. You get what I'm saying? Um, I spend as much time as possible with my daughter. I ain't out here bullshitting. I take this daddy shit real serious. For sure, as you should. So, um, you know, instead of running around in the streets doing a whole bunch of other things, I spend time with my daughter, get a peace of mind. You know what I mean? Because there's a there's a lot of things that I've been through in my life that I could that could make me make my mind wander. You get what I'm saying? Or make me move differently. But instead, I spend my time with my daughter. So that's where I really find my mental peace is being with my kid, being with my brother, music, or just talking about what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah. Besides music, for me, my thing. Besides music for me, my thing is um, besides you know confining in certain people that I really trust with a lot of these things, I also like to tap into like things that make me happy. So like I lock into things that bring me joy. For example, like my favorite college football team and football uh, football team is um the Oregon Ducks. So if they playing, it's quiet. Like you ain't even gotta hit my phone. And I do that on purpose because it's for me. So it don't matter what's going on for somebody else. I've come to learn that if I'm not happy, I can't make nobody else happy. I can't give what I ain't got. So one day I could be having a bad day and go pick up my Game Boy from back when, you know, we was kids. Word. Just lock in, like, on some little kid shit. That's some of the things that I do to, like, escape. You know what I'm saying? Besides actually having the conversations with people that I really trust to help me right. get through things. I like to just find things that make me happy. Do the things that I like to do that make me happy. Word, man. Yo, that was dope, man. Hey, yo, I want to thank you guys for coming up here, popping out the Village Fest, and doing what you guys do best, man. Sure. Uh, which, once again, this is SLDM TV. We live at Village Fest. It's your boy, King with the 8 guy. We got the hoodies in the building. D-Weather's here. And you know the fucking vibes, man. We out the Village Fest. Appreciate y'all, man. Already, bro.